Since the Kaduna State Government announced its plan to demolish structures that do not have certificate of occupancy in Baigi Villa, there has been a lot of public outcry and pleas from residents. Speaking of this development, the former member said since the late Governor Ibrahim Yakua had resolved the land dispute between Kaduna Polytechnic and residents of Baigi Villa, the present administration should honor the agreement reached between the two parties. It was approved to them by the former governor, late Patrick Yakuru. Yakuru. And uh, for over if he had not given them the go ahead based on the court ruling and based on the gentleman agreement made between the community and the staff of Kaduna Protective, nobody would have gone there to buy a plot. Mr. Gadani said most of the people living in Baji Villa community are retirees who build their houses with retirement benefit. Therefore, the state government should, should compel them to be paying grand rent so that some revenue can be generated instead of demolishing their houses. Those who own houses there are either retirees, pensioners, or widows and orphans, or people who collected loans from the bank to go into projects that may look very viable not only to them but to the community, like building schools and hospitals. He called on the state assembly to intervene on the matter with the view of finding a lasting solution to the problem. What we have actually, why I actually come here is to, not to make a case, but to appeal to the government to look at the situation that actually brought the whole problem that we have today in Baji Villa. He also called on Baji Villa community to explore other means of appealing to the state government. Perhaps it will change its mind. Mohamed Idris, Liberty News.